Hello and welcome. Today is just a short video tutorial to talk about my milk syrup. For those that are regular viewers to this channel, you know that I use milk syrup in many of my recipes. So I thought it's about time that I give a little bit more information on this milk syrup. I'm going to talk about why I use milk syrup and what are the variations for the milk syrup to adjust the sweetness level. So stay tuned until the end of this very short video clip. Milk syrup is what I use to sweeten my drinks. So instead of using milk plus sugar, what I use is condensed milk, which is sweet enough and I don't need to use sugar at all, and also evaporated milk. These are available everywhere, so you can easily recreate the recipes that I have on this channel. Another reason why I use condensed milk and evaporated milk are that they are more concentrated. They give you a creamier, tastier, and gives texture to your drinks to make those delicious coffee and tea drinks. Why do I use milk syrup? Why do I even combine evaporated milk and condensed milk? The reasons are, first, once you open the can of evaporated or condensed milk, you must separate them or put them in a bottle and then keep them refrigerated. And what happens there is that once you keep it refrigerated, this is pure condensed milk, it becomes even thicker and it's harder to pour out of the bottle and make your measurements. So if you combine them in advance, what happens is that it becomes lighter in texture. So this one is easier to pour out of the bottle. And when you combine them, if you have a shop, milk tea or coffee shops, it will be easy for you to pour them out of the bottle and prepare your drinks faster. Let's talk about the recipe for milk syrup. The original milk syrup, many of you would have already seen, is two cans of condensed milk and one can of evaporated milk. And I would call that 100% sweetness level. Now, how do you adjust the sweetness level using the milk syrup? If you would like it to be 50% sweetness level, then you should change the proportion to one can condensed milk and one can evaporated milk. If you'd like it to be even less sweet, say 25%, you can change that to two cans evaporated milk and one can condensed milk. Now, if you want to use 0% sweetness level, you don't need to use milk syrup at all. All you have to do is to use fresh milk. Now, the reason why I'm telling you all these four different types of sweetness level is because as much as possible, I would like you to use the same proportion of milk syrup for each of the drinks that I show on this channel. All you have to do is to decide which of the milk syrup recipe will you be using. For instance, if I say two ounces of milk syrup, you may change whether you'd like it to be 50% or 25%, but still use the same two ounces. This way, you maintain the balance between the milk and whatever drink you are preparing. Finally, the most common question about my milk syrup, how long can it last? Well, the shelf life for the milk syrup refrigerated could be up to seven days, at best three to five days. The rule of thumb is to make only as much as you need for a short period of time. You can always make more. And every time you use, make sure you check whether it is still usable or is already spoiled. That's all I have about milk syrup. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, and comment to help support this channel. Make this channel accessible to more people out there and help me share the love. In the meantime, I thank you for your continued support. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.